A happy Monday to you, kind viewers, and welcome back to Supreme Master Television, Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We are excited to be rejoined by Miyoko Shinner, a renowned chef, best-selling author, and a food expert of 30 years. Last Friday, Miyoko showed us how to make homemade vegan yogurt that can also be a delectable base to be transformed into other recipes. We're going to take this yogurt and we're going to turn this into a yogurt cheese and a yogurt topping for fresh berries. Let's step back into Miyoko's kitchen to learn how to make vegan yogurt cheeses flavored with lemon peppercorn and garlic herb sun-dried tomato. Now I've brought some cheeses that I've made. I want to show them to you. Okay. I've got a couple of yogurt cheeses that I've made. This one is lemon peppercorn. All right. And this one has sun-dried tomato. Uh, it's garlic herb with sun-dried tomatoes. All right. No, I'm going to show you how, uh, okay. how we're going to do that. All right. I've got a bowl here lined with a, uh, a sieve. A sieve, yes. Lined with cheesecloth. Okay. And what I'm going to do is pour my yogurt in here. There we go. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to set this somewhere on the counter in a cool place. Aside, okay. And we're just going to let it drip. Okay. And all day, 24 hours, 12 okay. to 24 hours. All right. And what happens is it'll lose all the liquid. Okay. That's and turn right. very, very thick. And I've got some right here uh -huh. that I've already made. Look at this. Look how thick this is. Wow. Now what I did finally towards the very, very end uh -huh. is that I tied it up and I hung it from a sink so it wouldn't even have the sieve. Oh, so it wouldn't to, sit in it. Yes. Right, yes, right. Yes. And that way it would just continue to drip and get as thick as I can. You should put it in a sieve first because if you don't, then it could leach out not just the whey, oh, but the solids as the well. The solids as yeah. well. Okay, okay. Yes. And you want to make sure you have a double layer of cheesecloth. Okay. Good so idea. here we go. Well, you can well, see it now. You can see it, yeah. Oh See, our God. yogurt has now gotten very thick. It's like a ricotta just like a cheese. cheese. It's, it's like, like a ricotta like a cheese, or something yes, else, yes, like yes. a cheese. Right. And now you can season this any way you like. Okay. And we're going to do that by, first of all, adding our good friend, Nutritional Yeast, and some salt. It's a nice little sprinkle of it because it's cheese, and so it's a little saltier. Okay. Cheese is, has a, a salty taste, as you Sure, sure, Probably sure, re sure. recognize. And that's going to be the base. Now, you can add a little bit of lemon juice to that as well. All right. That wouldn't, there's no curdling next to it. It's just, no, it just won't curdle. No, nope. nope. it won't curdle. In fact, nice. um, but we're going to divide this into two batches so okay. we can flavor it differently. So okay. we'll go ahead and put half in this bowl. All right. And once again, you can see this is a very, very flexible recipe. You can yes. Flavor things any way you like. Yes, These are just suggestions that I have. Uh huh. All right. Oh. Okay. okay. And one flavor we're going to make is uh, garlic herb. So now I've got some garlic. All that's right. some finely minced garlic. Sure. I'll put that in there. Let's put some thyme in there. Okay. Maybe right. half a teaspoon of thyme. Okay. How about some marjoram? About, How about a half a teaspoon or so. Okay, we'll put a bit of that. And I'm gonna, I've got some fresh basil leaves right here, which I'm okay. going to julienne. All right. By stacking them up. Okay. And rolling them up. All right. And then cutting it very, very finely. Yes. And I think what I'm going to do is even chop it again so they're little even smaller, even smaller pieces yes, that's right yes. okay so let's throw that in there and do you want right. to oh, mix okay. all of that up there I certainly will 
You can vary the herbs, add some oregano. Uh, you can even add lavender to it, for example. Ooh. So there's a whole kind, all kinds of things oh, you can go. do to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's mm -hmm. in between cream cheese that's really usually too that's firm right. and, that's right. and, and sort of a frosting. That's right. And it actually thickens up when you refrigerate it slightly. Oh, wow. So it's right. even thicker than that. It'll be a little thicker can, than you that. You can kind of see yeah. a little bit the, the mm -hmm. texture. That's Ooh. right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is... To shape your cheese, you're going to line a bowl or some mold with some saran wrap. You can put some sun-dried tomatoes on the bottom if okay. you like, or okay. you can just leave it plain. Oh, just plain. Okay. Or we can just do it plain Let's right it plain now. For now. Sure, we already have that so one. We got that one there. All right. And you're just going to put it in here like this. And kind of pat it. And just pat it down. Mm -hmm. And then just fold your saran wrap over it. Oh, yes. And then you can just keep it in the refrigerator for several hours okay. to set. And then, and then unmold it. Over. That's right. That's, there we go. That's quite okay. fancy. Can I right. people this one's going to be with lemon zest. Oh, nice. So we're going to start out. I've got a nice lemon here. Okay, wash it. And I'm going to wash <laughs> it. All right. Okay. So since you're going to be using the zest, you want to make sure you're using an organic lemon. Okay. And with lemon zest, you want to make sure that you get no more than just the just skin, the outside. The outside. No Otherwise, the it white gets is bitter. Very bitter. That's the white correct. Bitter. Yes, that's correct. You need a zester. The zester. Of sorts. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's very difficult to actually be. Yeah. Try to get to it without one. And mm -hmm. we're also going to put a dash of lemon juice in there too. Oh. So I usually use the entire lemon. And give it just a squeeze of lemon juice. Want to give that a oh, stir right. there? I certainly will. Um, cool. And we'll prepare another dish, another mold. Mm -hmm. okay. And this time I've got peppercorns that we put on the outside. Oh, yes. Okay. And you probably want to taste these too and make sure that you have you enough. Get the right, yes. got the right amount of salt, etc. Okay. Well, um, I'll do it. Oh, it's nice, the lemon. It's, it's, it's very, very delicate. It's very it's delicate. Not, yeah. You could really taste it. And it doesn't feel like a dessert. No. No, well, it's not. It's not. Because it's you do really... have salt in it. So it, it I do. Yeah, that. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you put it back in there. Mm -hmm. Same little pat, pat, pat. Same thing. Pat, pat, pat. And then, and then just refrigerate it and unmold it. it. There we go. You can flavor this any way you like. You can make it curry, so, you can make it, you know, east, west, north, south. You can do anything. anything. That's right. That's right. So you've got That's yogurt, beautiful. which you can have for breakfast. Right. And then you've got cheese, cheese. that you can use for an appetizer, right. dip, sandwich spread. We've learned a lot of things today. We can make nut milk, we can make cheese, we can make yogurt, all that together for appetizers. And, and whipping cream. And whipping cream with the right. desserts. Uh -huh. We can make 10 things with just nuts, water, a little bit of it's coconut so milk. Simple. You can do it at home, no machines, no special Nothing. knowledge. That's right. And the variations are endless. Wow, so let's So let's, let's, let's dig in. Yeah, I've got one. a sun-dried tomato garlic herb one that I'm going to try here. All right, I'll try the peppercorn lemon one. Now, one thing to remember is if you're going to be making cheese out of yogurt, let your yogurt sit longer. Let it, or yes. So that it gets tangier and thicker. Okay. And if you want a dessert topping, don't let it sit out as long. So it looks a bit sweeter. That's right. Mm -hmm. In case you have a waiter, it's a great Can control it. Okay. <laughs> one appetite. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, very nice. This is going to be fun to make. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your company on our show today, Cooking with Chef and Author Miyoko Shinner, Homemade Vegan Cheeses and Dips. We extend our gratitude to the wonderful Miss Miyoko Shinner for her series of fantastic vegan recipes and cooking tips that have delighted viewers worldwide. We look forward to your new projects promoting the vegetarian diet with vibrant plant-based culinary creations. And viewer, make sure you come back and celebrate St. Patrick's Day with us tomorrow over some tea brack and candied peeled scones. Please stay tuned for Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. May the sweet morsels of life bring you joy and smiles.